Welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today, here we are once again with the Billing Series 5 with the AMD Ryzen 7 5800U, which is a really awesome CPU and of course, a really awesome machine. On the last video, we took a look on how we can create a multimedia server with Plex on this machine without changing the operating system. So Windows 11 Pro, link right over here. And today I just want to share with you some of the specifications and what we can find inside this machine and what possibilities do we have to upgrade this machine. I was about to say that the first thing that I did was to open it up apart but that was not the case. First of all I did unboxing and inside the package we will find all the accessories, the power adapter, two HDMI cables which Billing does a great job sending a bigger HDMI cable and then a smaller HDMI cable in case we want to put this at the back of um, this play. Now we know this package already from other machines. It's really well built and the changes are mostly on the inside, on the hardware. On the outside it continues to have this grill which is a metal grill. It's well built solid metal and well built plastics all around. On the front we will have a USB type C connection and two USB type A, USB 3.0, a audio output, clear MOS and a power on and off button. At the back we'll have a gigabit Ethernet connection, USB 3.0, USB 2.0 and two HDMI outputs along with the DC in and we can see the grill here for the heatsink cooler. At the bottom a really nice rubber fit on both sides and a great construction overall. Now we can take a look at the inside. Now really easy to open it up, just four screws and we will have access to a 2.5 inch hard drive bay which we can populate with an SSD or with a hard drive. Now my choices were to use the S3 Plus SSD terabyte which I did use and it's here inside or we can use my Toshiba for example two terabytes and this will depend on our choice at this moment the prices are very similar in terms of SSDs and hard drives so it's a personal taste. Once we open it up a little bit more we will have access to the main SSD which is an NVMe and also to the RAM slots which are too. It comes with 16 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes on the SSD NVMe and I did replace the SSD by a Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus 2 terabytes, which is the maximum that this machine will accept. And I also did upgrade the RAM to 32 gigabytes of the Sabrent Rocket DDR4 RAM. Now I did put it up and it worked fine, but for this particular video where I want to show you the results or the performance that it has, I did place all the components together and I've got back here all the accessories that I did upgrade. So let's take a look at some of the results. I did start by taking a look at how much does Windows occupy on the drive and it was about 33 gigabytes. This just because I want to do some comparisons with other versions of Windows that we have been installing. This might be interesting. In terms of RAM it was using on idle about 3.9 gigabyte with Windows 11 Pro and the temperature at idle was about 57 degrees. Having in mind that the office is a bit warm at this time of the year so we are talking about 29 degrees and 29.7 degrees at this moment and as soon as I finish recording this video I will turn on the AC. Now besides that I also tested out Geekbench 6 but Instead of giving you only the result, I did measure the temperature and it was reaching a maximum of 91 degrees Celsius and the RAM used was about 5 3 gigabytes. Now the result was 1,792 on single core score, 6,761 on multi core score, which is a really decent score for this CPU. So this will give us an idea of other computers that we can compare and what we can do with it. And video editing, for example, which is something that a few years ago was unthinkable on a machine such as this, is something that we can do. And some light gaming as well, as we have seen on other billing devices that I will leave right over here. Now the next test that I did perform was Cinebench and observing Cinebench which is a more demanding test did stress out the 8 cores and 16 threads that this machine has. The maximum temperature was only 91 degrees, the same that we achieved with Geekbench 
test. And the RAM in this particular case was about 7.3, the maximum that we used. Final result was 1377 on single core score and 9405 on multi core score. Also tested out the GPU performance and we can see with Unigine superposition that the performance is quite nice. Average on 1080, we got a score of 2444, which is not bad at all. And to finish up, the disk speed test was 3650 on reads and 1900 on writes. And if you want to boost up these numbers, just placing an SSD from Sabrent and you will have about 7000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is just awesome. And basically, this is it regarding the components of this machine and regarding the performance that we have. So if you want to do a Plex server like we did on the last video with this machine, you will be totally fine. Or if you want to remove Windows, and place Proxmox right over here, we have an AMD Ryzen 5800U, which has 8 cores and 16 threads. We will be able to have a lot of virtual machines, including Windows 11 as well. That being said, stay tuned for more videos that we will be making with the 5800U inside of the Billing Series 5. If you've enjoyed this one, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.